Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, you will see the unboxing of my new R Central Lux vacuum hose and attachment kit, and also a special inside look at the vacuum unit itself, so be sure to stick around until the end. This central vacuum system was purchased and installed in December of 1996. Everything is still working just fine, but I have been wanting a 35 foot hose for a long time to replace the original 30 foot hose. This hose comes up short in one room and causes me to have to change inlets in order to finish vacuuming. The new 35 foot hose will eliminate that problem. The old hose and attachments are all starting to show their age after 17 years, so I decided to upgrade everything except the vacuum unit itself as it shows no sign of slowing down anytime soon. The only trouble I have ever had with the hose or attachments is that some of the spring clips that hold the wands and hose together have broken. This is why you see the masking tape holding the two sections together here. These are easily replaceable and my local Oris dealer sent me some with my new, new kit with my order so I can repair the old holes and wands. They'll make a great backup set to keep out in the utility room for vacuuming out vehicles and the rug I keep out there. Now for a quick unboxing of the new 49194 Deluxe kit. I got a good deal on this kit from my local Oris dealer better than if I had purchased it from the internet and this way I know I am getting genuine product from Oris. Now this is the nice new 35 foot hose and it should uh, be compatible with the, with all the old stuff too so if I ever have a need to use you know interchange these they should interchange they're identical except they're just different colors there's two new uh, wands here uh, fit together to make up the the length to go to the from the hose to the power head for carpet or you can take them apart and use them with different lengths for different things here's the new power head that's neat looking looks about like the old one except it's a little bit a little bit differently designed but and this the new uh, all the, the new instruction manual and the new attachments that's the uh, sidekick uh, upholstery tool that's pretty neat it's a, an electric upholstery brush and there's the bare floor attachment and that's the uh, dust brush <laughs> take a look at this old dust brush compared to the new one I'll just look how the bristles have worn down on that thing that's that's uh, 17 years of, of use <laughs> around the house I, it looks like I got a little bit of a spray spray foam on when I was doing a project one time I remember when that happened I accidentally sucked up just a little bit of spray foam there and got in that dust brush and it would not come out once it hardened but anyway there's the, the little wand that the uh, dust brush mounts to and you got the case there for all that and pretty neat to have a whole new setup okay here I've laid out the old hose and the new hose side by side just to see how much extra I'll actually have in this room and looks like uh, I'm going to have plenty I'll be able to finish the whole room without changing inlets. Now that's going to be nice. Okay, here's those new uh, spring clips that they sent me free of charge with my order. I just found those down in the box to fix my old uh, wand and uh, power head hose and everything. As you can see, what happens is after years of use, the little that little tab there breaks off. I'll show you the new one here. You can see what it looks like. That little tab right there breaks off, and that's nothing will you know lock together anymore. It can still be used, but it comes apart. But that'll be nice to have that all fixed up with both hoses. Here's the inlet in the other room that I use, and I'm gonna plug this hose into it. And I have to uh, plug that cord into the wall outlet next to it in order to have power to my power head. This is these are totally compatible. The new stuff and the old stuff compatible. See. This is the old power head on the new hose. See, it still works fine. Okay, now I'm out in the utility room where the vacuum unit is located. Have you ever wondered what it looks like inside a bagless cyclonic central vacuum? Well, I have. And I'm going to see if I can't find out without uh, tearing my camera up. I think I can do it. If I wrap it up with saran wrap here, pretty good. Let's see. Yeah, that'll work. I just don't want to get dust all in the lens and in those little 
folds there. Yeah, that'll work good. Get that nice and smooth there, that'll look good. Yeah, that's a good picture through there. I'll get that in there with the trusty Bell and Howell torch light. We ought to be able to see some cyclonic action. This rug is pretty dirty because there's been a neighborhood cat visiting over here and she likes to come in here and lay on this rug. So I imagine it's got quite a bit of white cat hair on there. We'll see. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, looks like the SX260 and the torch light survived. A little dusty, but yeah, you can tell my little kitty visitor's been over here. Camera's still running. Battery was almost dead. Let's see what this footage looks like, guys.